boys and girls. I have a book to read to you today that you are going to love. It is called Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy, and it was written and illustrated by David Soman and Jackie Davis. It is also a New York Times bestseller, so it is a very, very popular book. Uh, this story is about these two friends who go to the park and they play together. And we're going to find out how they play and what they decide to play with. Oh, and look, there they are, her ladybug girl and her little puppy. How cute. Ladybug girl and bumblebee boy. Ladybug girl is ready to play, says Lulu. She has been waiting forever to go to her favorite playground, the one with the twisty slide and the bouncy dinosaurs. Her mama grabs Bingo's leash and says, all right, let's go. Ladybug girl leaps over cracks and sidewalks that are as big as canyons. And when she sees Mrs. Robbins carrying her groceries, Ladybug Girl swoops over to help. The bag is as heavy as a boulder, but it isn't a problem for Ladybug Girl. And Ladybug Girl can count really high. She counts mailbox after mailbox after mailbox, all the way up to infinity. And Bingo sniffs everything. Have you ever been this excited to go to the park? Oh, and look at that park that has so much fun stuff to play on. When they get to the playground, it is full of kids. While Bingo settles into his spot under a bench, Lulu looks around for someone to play with. Hmm. She looks around for someone to play with. She sees Sam from her music class. He's playing by himself in the sandbox. Hi, Sam, she says. Hi, Lulu, he says back. Want to play with me? Sure. What do you want to play? asks Lulu. Diggers, of course, says Sam. Lulu has never really liked playing diggers. She doesn't like getting sand in her boots. monkeys. In a flash, Lulu is hanging from the jungle gym. Monkeys is the best, Lulu yells. No, I don't like that, Sam says. Lulu watches Sam run off to the big castle. Well, maybe we could go play castle, Lulu thinks. Being a princess wouldn't be so bad. But Sam is standing at the bottom of the castle, and that's not where she usually plays. What are you doing down there, Lulu asks. Puzzled? Don't you think playing up on top is better? When Sam doesn't answer, Lulu says, Never mind. I know the perfect thing for us to do. The seesaw. She runs over and sits down on one side of the seesaw and waits. And waits. And Sam just stands there, not getting on. The other side is high and empty while she is stuck on the ground. Sam and Lulu, they're looking a certain way right now. They are not looking very happy. Look at their faces. Can you make a face like them? They're like, they're not very happy. It's because, why do you think? Because they can't figure out what to play with. They're not making, they're not deciding together what they want to use. So I wonder how they're going to decide what they want to play. Lulu and Sam glare at each other. Ooh, that's not very nice, is it? That's like looking at someone in a not kind way. And neither of them says anything. Then Lulu sputters, you don't want to do anything I want to do. And you don't want to do what I want, Sam grumbles. Oh, well, Lulu's cheeks are getting hot. She is very frustrated. Why doesn't Sam want to play? She definitely didn't have this problem on the way to the playground when she was Ladybug Girl. It was easy to have fun then. 
Maybe she should just go play by herself. Do you think that's a good idea, or do you think she should find a way to play with her friend? And then Lulu has an idea. She takes a deep breath and says, do you want to play Ladybug Girl with me? Ladybug Girl? How do you play that? Asks Sam. I'll show you, she says. Ladybug Girl has superpowers. I can fly and I'm super strong. Superpowers? Sam is very interested. I would be too. And who can I be, he asks. Well, you sort of look like a bee, says Lulu. A bee? Yeah, a bee can fly. And he will sting people if they bother him. I need a stinger, says Sam. He sees a stick and he picks it right up. I'm Bumblebee Boy, Sam declares. And I'm Ladybug Girl, yells Lulu. Nothing can stop us. Doesn't it just make your heart so happy that they figured out a way to play together? Aww. It does me. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy zoom around the playground looking for help. To help anyone in trouble. A squirrel scampers by Bingo. Oh no! yells Bumblebee Boy. That scary monster is trying to get your dog. He needs help right away! We're coming, Bingo, says Bumblebee Boy. They bravely charge forward. The scary monster is no match for their superpowers and leaps away. We did it! We saved Bingo! Are you okay? asks Ladybug Girl. And Bingo wags his tail. Then Bumblebee Boy runs toward the swings. Watch how high I can fly, he yells. I can fly high too, Ladybug Girl says, running behind him. They are soon whipping through the air. They flap their wings harder and harder, and they are so high they can almost touch a cloud. I felt like I was going that high before, like my toes would touch the sky. Have you felt that way before? says Ladybug Girl, waving toward the tire swing. There's a mean robot. It's going to crush the playground. We need to stop it. They rush over to the mean robot. Ladybug Girl grabs on and jumps on top of its head. Bumblebee Boy swings and stings with his stinger again and again. This will teach you not to mess with Bumblebee Boy. Feeling rather proud for saving the playground and probably the whole town, Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy decide to have a parade on the bouncy dinosaurs. It is a very important celebration. A crowd gathers to watch the parade and people cheer and throw flowers at them. girls are who are watching them come over. Can we play with you? asks Marley. I can be Butterfly Girl. No, says Kiki. We already decided I'm Butterfly Girl. You can be Dragonfly Girl. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy looked at them. Hmm, does this seem a little bit familiar? It should because these friends just dealt with the same thing. If we're going to play together, says Ladybug Girl, then we don't fight with each other. Yeah, we work together to fight bad guys, like that giant snake over there, says Bumblebee Boy, pointing to the twisty slide. Ladybug Girl adds, and Dragonfly Girl can breathe fire. Fire? I'm Dragonfly Girl then, agrees Marley.
and they work together to come up with a solution. As Dragonfly breathes fire and Ladybug Girl yells, Watch out, you big giant snake! Here comes the Bug Squad! Later, when it's time to go, Lulu says, It was fun playing together. Do you want to play Bug Squad tomorrow? asks Sam. Definitely, because Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy can do anything. Mama, asks Lulu as they head home, can we get wings for Bingo too? <laughs> and there's Bingo with Ladybug Girl's wings. <laughs> too cute. Okay, I loved that book because it's all about making compromises and figuring out what works for everybody so that you guys can all play together and be friends and have fun. Okay, um, I hope that you liked it. I'm sure that you did. And I hope that you have a wonderful night. Goodbye, everybody.